Hey guys, Sean here. So today we're going to be installing the three inch DM, uh, yeah, the three inch Ben Van DMG uh, screen. Um, this is a kit that Ben Van made that is slightly larger than the original DMG screen, and it's already all ready to go. You just pretty much there's a couple of small things to solder, but it's pretty easy, and you just uh, replace like the whole front um, motherboard. And this is what you get. Here's this little logo that shows up. So it's already comes backlit already, all ready to go. So if you have like a DMG that the uh, the motherboard is broken or the screen is messed up, then um, this would be a really good way to replace that and have a nice uh, semi like original looking. It's bigger. Um, but it's kind of it's kind of nice that it kind of has that original feel. It's not like those new like the IPS screens, which those are also nice. But um, this just has more of like a, the original kind of feel to it. But anyway, let's uh, go ahead and get started. We're going to be installing the kit in this clear shell here. So I've gone ahead and. Um, so here's the, the shell we're going to be using. I put the, um, I guess this would be like the daughter board already in here. Um, and so that's pretty much ready to go. You don't have to install a bi like a bivert chip or anything. <clears throat> um, you do need to solder in oops, your own speaker. So I have a speaker here. And this is what the kit looks like. So let's open this up. And there's a couple parts. Here's the here's the board. So I think some of the earlier ones, I think you had to solder your own ribbon, but this one already comes pre-soldered. The only thing that you do need to solder is uh, you, can, you solder the backlight to this little part right here, and then this is for your speaker. So it's pretty easy. And here's the screen. So yeah, it's a pretty big screen compared to a normal DMG. Um, so here's a little ribbon cable, and this is, this is what uh, powers the, the row of little LEDs in the bottom. So the first thing we need to do is actually trim the shell just a little bit. Um, it's actually not too complicated if you have like a Dremel tool. Um, and the way you do that is you can use a ruler and just mark along it inside here. Uh, but you want to measure, what is it? 3.5 millimeters. So on my Calipers here, I'm going to go to 3.5, that's close enough, or yeah, that's close enough there. I'm going to lock it down, and this distance, um, you can just measure that on a ruler and mark it, or um, I like to use the calipers because then you can just kind of scrape the plastic where, you, where you're going to be trimming, and just go all the way around. That. And then I'm going to use a Dremel tool. You may be able to get away with uh, like an X-Acto and some like flush trim cutters or something, but if you have a Dremel, that's definitely a lot easier. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to trim. I'm going to use uh, the mark, the lines that I marked, and I'm going to use the blade on the inside of that cut. Like I don't want to make the hole the opening larger than, than, the, than the, the marks we made. So make sure your blade is on on the inside of that line. So 
So we're already 25% of the way done there. Okay, so that's pretty much all the drumming we need to do. And then just clean up the inside here. Just gonna break it off with my fingers first. And then I'm just going to use a uh, an exacto blade here to clean up the rest. And basically, we want to open it up because um, the new lens for this is wider, and you would see some of that the opening, and the screen is larger. Um, but you want to leave just enough where the screen can still like grab onto. So um, it's looking pretty good here. All right, I think that is pretty good. So now the next step is to remove some of these little screw posts. We want to remove these top two and the little ring around the, um, the power LED. So just get your flush trim cutters and get nice and close in there. And then for the power little ring, That went somewhere. And that's it. The shell is now ready to go. So for the screen, so for the screen, the way I like to like kind of align it is to get it in place. Um, you're going to have to open this up a couple times um, because there's always going to be a little bit of variance in the shells and um, there's no like exact measurement I can tell you that will just magically work for all shells. But so the way I like to do it is it's going to be pretty much close to all the way down, all the way down this way. Um, and then it's going to be close to being all the way this way, but not quite. So somewhere around there. And then what I'll do is get some hot glue and I'm just going to put a little bit right here. And a little bit on this side. And then if you have it, you can use some canned air to uh, cool it down really quickly. All right, so there's the screen. I didn't take off the screen protector, which I should have. I might be able to do that just by like this. Yeah, here we go. So there's the screen and we also need to, we're going to have to solder these wires and it comes with a little connector, um, but we're not going to be using that connector. So we'll just trim these two wires. And 
pull off the ends, get them nice and get the wires ready to go. Okay. So now this is pretty much ready to go. Hopefully we'll have to uh, check the alignment. This one is actually going to my friend Sean in Virginia. His username is Handheld Obsession on Instagram. Really nice guy. If you guys want to follow him, he um, he's sent me all kinds of things. Okay, so now on the. On the PCB, we want to go ahead and uh... all right, here we go. So we want to go ahead and solder to these points here. This is where the, the LEDs on the backlight or for the screen are going to go and here's where the speaker goes so just get a little bit of flux put it on those parts just using a tiny bit and then where's my solder And then I'm going to kind of tin these little areas. And then I'm going to tin these wires on the, for the backlight of the LCD. I like to just get a little bit on my soldering iron and then just like that. Oops. Okay. And we'll finish the installation of the uh, the power, I mean the, the backlight LEDs once we get the alignment, right? So this is going to be for the, the speaker and it's pretty simple. There's, you just, uh, you know, heat it up and stick in a wire. There's like a little hole right in the middle and polarity doesn't really matter for speakers. Now let's go ahead and test this thing. So what we want to do is there's a little hole here. You can see this hole and we want to get everything through that hole. Stick everything in the hole. Okay, just like that. And the PCB has holes for the, the screw post for the Game Boy. And for now, we'll just uh, move these um, wires aside. And then for the ribbon, just lift up the little hinge here, slide it in, and lock it down. And that's it. We're ready to go. We're ready to test it. I guess I'll put in a couple screws real quick just to hold it in place. Okay. 
feels good. So now, I actually don't have a uh, power adapter for DMGs. So unfortunately, I just need to uh, use all these batteries. I need to get one of those. But I mostly work on Game Boy Colors, so. Okay, so now it's ready to go. And just take your ribbon, plug it in. Okay, and I guess we want to test it with this. Uh, lens so we can see approximately how much it's covering and I have my little cartridge here to align the screen but you can use you can use any game you want this will just helps me so let's see here so let's get it nice and close so you guys can see a little hard to see without the backlight, but that's actually pretty close. I think you can kind of see a little bit of a line right here. So the screen needs to come down just like maybe one millimeter. But left and right looks pretty good. It's nice and straight. So yeah, just a little bit straight down. Okay. So I'll leave that on. So the way to do this, don't forget about your lens. So that's the reason we didn't connect these yet because it makes it a little bit easier to take this off. And you can use your hot glue gun, but I find it a lot easier to just use your soldering iron it heats up the hot glue a lot faster and it gets it to a hotter temperature so it stays hotter longer and that allows you more time to reposition the screen a little bit just be careful not to touch the actual shell because it will melt the shell too okay so that's really good i'm just moving it down slightly about there all right and back together again Okay, oh yeah, so we need to solder these two wires. So I will take um, some tweezers here, get nice and close for you guys. And it is positive on the left side. So that's the red wire. And negative on the right. Okay. And there is a possibility that some of this touches some of the components here, so I will use a bit of Kapton. So now Plug it in again, and maybe I'll switch out to Zelda again. We still need to put the lens, but... Unfortunately, the speaker is not working. I actually didn't test that speaker, so it could just be a bad speaker. But the screen looks really good. It's working really nice. And let's see how it looks with the lens. Kind of interesting with this clear shell, how much it lights up around it. But yeah, the alignment looks really good. Pretty happy with that. I'm considering putting a mask, maybe some like a black vinyl tape around, yeah 
around the LCD. But besides that, that's pretty much all there is to this mod. So I'm not going to close it up yet because I'm going to mask the screen and I also need to fix that speaker. But I guess that's it for right now. Uh, let's jump ahead a little bit to when I finish it. So there it is. It's a little better with the masking, I think. Not quite as many light leaks. This is a game uh, Mizukat gave me when she came to visit from Germany, where I met her in LA. It's called D Mouse. And supposedly it's a, uh, it's based on some other game. but it's actually pretty fun. You can switch between this mouse and this elephant. I think it's based on like a TV show. So you can see this elephant can't cross the river, so you have to be the mouse for a little bit. And I have to go pick up something to put in the water. Oops, I just fell in the water. Anyway, it's actually a pretty challenging little game. So like, see, he can't jump here, so then I have to bring the elephant here, and then jump on the elephant. So that's a nice little puzzle game. But anyway, here's the 3-inch Benven DMG screen. Pretty easy to install. So yeah, I guess that's it for this one, you guys. Let me know what you think. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.